Using this simple intention, I want to illustrate another new feature, light patterns. You probably know quotations, right? You probably heard of lightweight quotations as well. They both serve the same purpose to build a piece of abstract syntax tree, that just using different approaches. MPS contains a pattern matching language. It uses principle very similar to quotations. You use the target language, base language in this case, to construct a little pattern, an abstract syntax tree, that is used to find a match for some node. Here, in this particular case, we're trying to match any plus statements where there's a zero either on the left side or on the right side and indicate true that this can be simplified so that further down we could possibly simplify such an expression. Since we do not care about what's on the right side or left side uh, of the plus expression, uh, a pattern, pattern variable is used and is just, not, is, is just ignored, not used anyway anywhere else. Uh, obviously this uh, variable could be used potentially to further investigate the abstract syntax tree and you know act on it so we could detect what is actually on the left side of the tree and do something based on that but here we don't care so this matching is perfectly valid. Now what is new in MPS 2020.1 is a similar construct for uh, using the, the approach similar to lightweight quotations. So now we have the option to use a pattern switch. Again, we'll be trying to match node, but this time against something that is constructed using approach similar to lightweight quotations. So will match a light pattern it will be a multiplication expression where on the left side is an integer constant of value 1 on the right side that can be anything you know for simp as long as simplification is concerned if on the left side we've got 1 we're done now, unlike in uh, quotations, or unlike in, in the regular pattern language, here in lightweight pattern language, we don't have to specify the right side. If we don't specify it, then any right side of multiplication expression will match. So those properties or children and references that you do not specify in the pattern will match no matter what there is in the node. Sure, we can define variables. So if we care about the right side expression we can do it like that and now specify that the right expression should be stored in some rv variable and then if uh, the multiplication expression matches we can investigate what that thing is and explore manually in an imperative style or we can be a little bit more picky here. We can do an integer constant. So we'll only match integer constants with any value. And now on the left side, I'll specify the variable. So now this expression will only match if on the right side is an integer constant and then store it in the RV variable. So now I can explore because now it's an integer constant so the type system immediately you know gives me all the properties typical for for integer constant so now i can check the value of that integer constant down here one last bit let's say i want to match all variable declarations that in the initializer refer to themselves it's a sort of artificial example but i want to show you the ability to refer to other variables. So here's a local variable declaration and here is an initializer. Now the local variable declaration 
I'll make it a variable var and in the initializer we'll be matching if the initializer is a variable variable reference where the variable declaration is var. So this will match all variable declarations that in the initializer have a reference the initializer is a reference to itself. Okay, so this is how the light pattern switch works. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video as well as you'll be enjoying all the features in 2020.1. Goodbye.